Hello family, I want to take a moment to introduce you to Royal Nacor Designs and Fabrics. Royal Nacor Designs can take care of all of your fashion needs as well as African artifacts. This is truly a one-stop shop during your visit to Ghana. Royal Nacor takes the hustle out of your shopping experience by meeting all of your needs under one roof. Royal Nacor takes the time to ensure that all clients have the royal treatment with personal consultations through your selection process. You can rest assured that you will have the perfect fit of everything you imagine and more. If you are not in Ghana, no problem. Royal Nacor will ship internationally with the same quality and attention to detail. So look no further for the perfect place to handle your African-inspired fashion. Contact Royal Nacor Designs and Fabrics today. I insist. Now I believe I can be all I dream. The connection to destiny is me. I'm always amazed and taken back by how I feel when I visit historic sites that teach me about my ancestors, their struggles, but not only that, their strength, their courage, the culture that motivated them to keep moving, to keep breathing, to keep fighting. I'm overwhelmed by sadness, but comforted with joy. My trip to the Enchichia Museum was powerful. A place to remember cruelty that took place and to receive peace that followed the storm. Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and I am here today at the Inti Chim Museum here in, um, in Ada. And this museum has a lot of history. I have learned a lot. I've actually already taken my tour. There are some places here that I cannot film. So I'll be putting some still shots for you to see a few things. But otherwise, I'm just gonna kind of narrate and tell you a little bit about this place and what they're actually doing here. And um, the main thing is that we are getting history on slavery and we're also being um, pushed and encouraged and inspired to move forward. From that so you have the history you have the knowledge you know what that is but then you move forward and what do you do with it now with your life so that's one of the main things that I got out of being here and um, it's still a, an emotional time for someone like me but um, definitely very informational is um i guess we can call it a, a sculpture these all three of these if you can see all three of these here they have a lot of meaning and honestly i don't think that i can remember everything to tell you um about the meanings of the different um uh, symbols and things that you see on here but one thing that does stand out that i do remember is these um, sticks or it looks like a um, bamboo that is sticking out 
was for them to maintain it. So they would use it as like a ladder to climb up to continue to maintain it over time. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah, this is so rich with meaning. And the other one is the same. Um, yeah, so this too, we have different animals and the animals have different meanings. The, the turtle, I remember he said was about patience and the footprints you see, and they're going different ways is because everybody has different paths to life and so um you know you may be just coming into life and getting into your life or you may be going out um so we also know i believe that life has cycles and so you know and uh seasons so you're coming into one and you're always you're always coming in or going out one of the two and so that is kind of an extension of what i got from this too This one, I think this was one that he said was used to scribe. When you have different installations or things that happen, they use this to inscribe them there. So kind of like a big book of life, really. Molded heads were used to mark the death and the life of a person. Faces were not sculpted to look like the person necessarily, but were just used as a symbol. To honor that tradition and culture, the museum decided to use molded heads to tell the story of the African slave trade. To see molded heads of so many ancestors struggling to survive is heartbreaking. Some you see have their mouths covered, representing the refusal to eat because they wanted to die. Their jaws broken because their oppressors force fed them to keep them alive. They needed them to work, but at this point, they just wanted to die. Some molded heads are seen in the water. This represents those who were thrown overboard due to sicknesses and a lack of resources. The captains of the ships hoped that the insurance would cover the loss of the slaves, loss to the drowning, because it would not pay for six slaves. The significance of the baobab tree serves as the tree of life. It was used as a safe place for slaves to gather and drink from its stored water in its trunk. During experiences like these, I have to take a moment to whisper to my ancestors that I am back that I'm here to finish the works that were started, to create the works that were never created, and to die empty because I have given my all in this life. So I am here at the walkway of um, the area which is sacred, okay? And um, it is full of heads. And there is a lot of um symbolism behind the heads and why they do that and I, will sh I will i will insert some pictures here but i just wanted to kind of this area is just there there are palm trees here and it's just beautiful when you walk there is a sense of peace when you kind of walk through this area and you go to this um sacred land or sacred area here where there are you see these heads um but the feeling is, I guess I can say, a little bit similar to what I felt at the Cape Coast Dungeons slash castles, um, where I can feel the spirits of my ancestors and a lot of emotions and things come to mind as far as where I'm from and being able to trace that, not being able to trace that actually. Um, but yeah, so just knowing that I'm here, I'm back, and I am looking to make my ancestors proud. So definitely a very emotional time and moment here, um, here at this, at this museum. But this area is very beautiful, even walking through there.
I think he said both. So this represents the present time. Sorry. And we are doing sculptures as the Europeans. So our guide just told us. So that's what you see here. It's a sign of moving forward. Coming away from the ideas and the, the you know, the knowledge that we have of uh, slavery and of being enslaved into the future, into greater possibilities and life. Now I believe I can be all I dream, the connection to